Welcome to Cromwell 13649, the Roman Coin Master. Here's the next project after working inside. Uh, all those panels that we took off the wall in the main room, uh, I threw them over here, carried them around there, up there, and I cut them all. So we can use them for firewood, and I'll show you. Cut them all, Jesse and Alice came out, carried it all up, all up and stacked it all there, lot. So quite a bit of burning wood there. And that will help us get through the winter. Uh, 5th, 6th, 6th of January. So I've started there, I don't know if you can see that line there, look, my fingers following. I've gone around there with my shovel. So now I'm cutting this kidney shape out, you see them rods I put in there. And I'm going around with a shovel, cutting this kidney shape out. I'm going to remove the soil and put these slabs, these slabs there. But I've got to put a, a concrete bed down first and put the slabs on top so they don't go anywhere. If you just put them on soil, they'll move. And then the swing chair will sit on top of there. So that's where I've got to so far. So next time I show you, I'll try and dig all this soil out. And we're going to move that to here because the, the garden slightly goes downhill here and I want to try and level it up and then seed it all uh, when when spring comes. I've cut that out of the garden like a kidney shape similar to the pond. It's about the same size actually and the swing chair is going to stand on there because the problem before was, was wearing, the, the grass was wearing away underneath uh, because there was no sunlight going to it or rainwater. Uh, in the summer months, so I've decided I'm going to put all this flat stone on it, which I got from the countryside free of charge. Um, we've done the biggest job now, which is digging it out, because there's like a, a type of net underneath to stop the the moles from coming through. But uh, and it's a pain in the arse because it sticks to all the soil and it makes it lumpy, which we've dumped over there. And the reason I've dumped it over there is because it's not level; it actually drops down a little bit there. So we're going to level that out and then just put a load of grass seed on it and hopefully have a great, great lawn next season. So, great lawn, nice thing there. And then the next project, which I'll make another video about, is, is here. Uh, I might get on with this week while this weather's like this. Um, I want to put a little bit of a pond in the bottom there. You can see I've dug down about 15 to 16 inches. Uh, put a pond liner in it and have a waterfall all the way down there and get the stone from up uh, in the countryside there. I can get all my stone for free, which is great. And then we'll step it down and we'll have a pump pumping it back up to the top there and have a continuous waterfall down there and then that's finished. But also got to get this painted and these soffits done. Look. So I've got plenty to do and uh, I'm not feeling bad today. Anyway, that's it. We're going for some dinner now. We've earned it, so we're all going for dinner. Alice helped me, Jesse helped me. When we work together, we really get a lot done. I'm really pleased about today, really pleased. And especially for this week, the whole week, I'm pleased about because we got this done too, which you've already seen. We've got all that done. Look.
Okay, fellas, ladies, um, it's not done, it's far from it, but I've got uh, a base layer of sand, well, aggregate sand and stones underneath for uh, a foundation, and also it's about two to three inches thick, and also that will allow me any differences in the stone in height, because some of them are thin, some of them are thick, uh, like that knobbly one there. Um, that's pretty thick. Well, what I'll do is I'll just scrape away the aggregate from underneath till it comes to the same level as the others. Uh, and then I'll point in between. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do next. I'm going to mix up some stuff, but not today. And I've just laid them in. I'm going to take one up at a time, lay it, level it, and then work from that one to the next one. So it's level with the first one I laid and so on. And carry on like that uh, and then the the swing chair will sit on that and I've just about had enough stone a little bit over little bits down there up in the corner so I've just about had enough stone but anyway when I do this I want to make sure that it's not going to freeze overnight now we've got one day this weekend which will be nine or ten uh, and about above three at night and that will be the time to do it because that cement ball dry overnight and it won't crack whereas uh, if it gets frost in it it will crack so that's a little tip for you if you're doing any cement work either put some antifreeze in it yes you can put antifreeze in it uh, or do it when it's not going to freeze overnight so there we go that's it look and the bench will sit on there when it's done and then I've got that lawn to level out um, and if I haven't got enough soil there then I will take it from here because this is the next project. I'm going to put a running waterfall down there, a little bit of a pot. I might put a couple of fish in it, but I just thought it was just an idea I had. My wife liked it. She said, yeah, go on, do it. So I'm going to do that. And I'll use that soil to level out the garden if there's not enough there. All right, everybody, it's finished, look. I've done it. Finished it today. It's all been bedded on with concrete and it's been pointed up now. That needs two, three, maybe a week to dry out properly before put any weight on it. And then it won't go anywhere, hopefully. Uh, I think I've made a good job of it. Put aggregate, about two or three inches of aggregate underneath it and then bedded it on concrete and then pointed it up. So that should be job done. So next is that. That's my next job. Alright, see you later.